know it works in milk, but what about water? Dip cocoa powder into water and it will come out completely dry. Dip it again and it might absorb some of the water, but with just a little tap, the water will start to go away because cocoa powder is hydrophobic. You can do this over and over again. Instant ice. Put a bottle of water in the freezer for two hours. Place an ice cube on a plate, then remove the bottle from the freezer and pour. The water you're pouring is almost cold enough to freeze. When it touches the ice, it forms small crystals which gradually spread. And that's how you make instant ice. No matter how many times I try this, it still blows my mind. As I pour water into this glass, the arrows change direction. This is because as light travels through water, it refracts. Additionally, the curved glass acts like a lens, which is similar to how your eyes work. If you try this for yourself, use a curved glass, hold the paper a few inches away, and follow for more science videos. A lot of you asked to see this experiment again, but with food coloring in the water, which is a great idea. So I've added some drops of green food coloring, and let's see what happens. So my paper towel's in the bottom of my cup, and my cup is completely underwater. Now I'm trying to prove that invisible gases take up space. So if the air inside this cup did not exist, the paper towel would be wet and green. So let's see. When I take it out, you can already see the color has not changed. And secondly, the paper towel is completely dry. The invisible air in the cup protected it. In my last video, I mixed baking soda and vinegar to create carbon dioxide gas. And today I'm gonna take it one step further. You see those candles? I'm gonna blow them out using carbon dioxide gas. So now that my balloon is filled with CO2, I'm gonna carefully release the gas into the graduated cylinder and then pour it over the candles to blow them out. Watch. Pretty amazing. Strawberry DNA. We're gonna extract some today. Smash up some strawberries. Mix two teaspoons soap, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water. Add the solution to your strawberries and carefully mix. Strain through a coffee filter. Look at how much mixture you have and add an equal amount of rubbing alcohol. You'll start to see slimy, snot-like stuff forming. That's the strawberry DNA. Use a popsicle stick to take it out and get a closer look. And that's how you extract strawberry DNA. This is awesome. Pour rubbing alcohol into a bottle, put the lid on, and give it a swirl. Twist the bottle in the middle, and then watch what happens. a cloud forms inside. Tie-dye name tags. They're so easy to make. Write your name on a piece of paper. Mix shaving cream and food coloring. Put your name tag face down and gently press. Scrape off the extra shaving cream. And that's how you make tie-dye name tags.